Welcome. I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to be making creme chantilly. Let's get started. Ingredients that we'll need for our creme chantilly uh, is some heavy cream or some whipping cream. I have about a cup right here. We're also going to need some powdered sugar. Some recipes will call for granulated sugar. I like powdered sugar because it dissolves really uh, rapidly. And for one cup of cream, I'm going to put in probably about uh, one or two tablespoons of powdered sugar. And if you want it sweeter, you can just simply taste it and make it sweeter by putting in some more sugar. And I have about half a teaspoon of vanilla. In order to proceed, I'm going to wind up taking a bowl and a whip. You could even use a mixing machine. It would be helpful to actually put this into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, along with this, to get it really nice and cold. Cream's going to go into a bowl. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of sugar right off the top. I'm going to start to blend this together, and then I'll start to add in the vanilla extract, and I'm going to whip it up until I get to a stiff peak consistency. It's going to take about two minutes or so of almost constant whipping. And you see very, very shortly that it's going to wind up becoming really thick. You're going to start to see trails in the cream that the wires of the whip are leaving. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and stir in my extract. Once the cream starts to thicken, you want to stop whipping and let uh, a blop stick to the end of the whips and go ahead and turn the whip around. You can see these points that are standing straight up right there. That's what we call a stiff peak. 30 seconds prior to this, that point would be curling over a little bit, and that's what we call a soft peak. Really careful that you don't over whip it, because if you wind up continuing to whip, as I would actually start to do right now, if I continue to whip this, it would turn into butter, and we don't want that. One of the many uses for a creme chantilly is to fill up some cream puffs. Um, in a previous video, you saw me make uh, some pâté choux that I baked into a round shape, and we're gonna fill this up with some creme chantilly to make a classic cream puff. We're gonna start off with our creme chantilly that I'm gonna go ahead and put into a pastry bag. Could use a Ziploc bag if you want, but I like these disposable pastry bags. They're a little bit more efficient. Very, very shortly, you're gonna see the cream starts to come out from the sides. Once you have it there, you know that it's filled. And that is creme chantilly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.